In this tutorial, we're going to look at two ways to make curtains. The one on the left was made with nerves planes, and then the one on the right was made with CV curve tool and then the loft surface menu. So let's get started. I'm going to go to my orthographic view front, and I'm going to go to create nerves primitives plane, and I'm going to go to the attributes. In the attributes, I'm going to leave the V patches 4, and I guess I'll make the U patches 10. And you'll see that in this geometry now, there are more vertical lines than there are horizontal ones. And that's going to allow me to make the, the ripples that we have inside of our curtain. I'm going to go to the top view now, and I'll hit F on the keyboard. Now, in the uh, top view, I'm going to right-click, choose Control Vertex, and I'm going to marquee select every other vertice line. And it's important that you marquee because we want to grab all the vertices down through that piece of geometry. And now I'll hit W to get my move tool and I'll pull that back perhaps or forward. You can see it's pretty much the same. But when I go to my perspective view now, we've got the beginnings of a curtain that we might want. Now it's just a matter of going in and customizing this so that it looks somewhat organic. So I'll stay in my perspective view for the moment. I'm going to start to scale this. I'll start at the bottom. I'll hit R for scale. But I want to scale this from this edge. So once I've got my scale tool, I'll hold down D. And on the x-axis, I'll drag it to the edge. And I'll scale it in like so. I'm going to hit the up arrow, or the down arrow, or the up arrow to navigate to different parts of this. And in doing so, I can start to edit that as well without having to select them. So once again, I'll hold down D, move my vertex to the edge, and scale it in a little bit. And I'll do this until I get a rough idea of what I'd like the finished curtain to look like. So I'll go ahead and start to grab these and refine them a bit. Maybe I'll scale and move. And then uh, perhaps I'll start to billow these out a little bit so it looks as if perhaps the wind might be blowing through the window that they're in front of. This will just require a little bit of time. That I'll, last thing I'll do is come down to the bottom here, grab this, start to pull it out like so. Maybe the breeze is coming through the center of the window, and that piece would bellow out more than the top. And that's the approach to creating your curtain with the nerve surface. Now, what you'll probably want to do is have a mirrored image of it on the other side. I'm going to go back to my object mode. I'll go to my orthographic view in which I introduced this plane. And I'm going to hold down D and I'll move the pivot to here because I'd like it to reflect over from this point. So I've got two symmetrically uh, placed curtains. Now the axis, that's important here is that X axis because I'm going to use Duplicate Special to flip over a mirror image of this. So with the curtain selected in its object mode, I'll hold down the space bar. I'll go to Edit, down to Duplicate Special and then to the attributes. And in the attributes, I'm going to leave everything the same with the exception of scale. Now, these boxes represent the axes from left to right, x, y, z. So in the x axis, what I'll want to do is put a minus 1. I'll hit return to set it, and I'll hit apply. And there's our curtains made with the nerve surface. 